This continues section 6.6, .6, um, graphing linear inequalities in two variables or solving linear inequalities in two variables and being the exact same thing. So we're going to do this one together and then I'm going to want you to do 3x minus 4y is less than or equal to 12 on your own. So 2x minus or plus y uh, less than negative 1. First thing I'm going to do is put it in slope intercept form. So I'm going to subtract the 2x from both sides. And so this is going to give me in slope intercept form y, and I'm going to keep the inequality, less than negative 2x minus 1. So the first thing I'll do is graph my y-intercept, which is negative 1, so 0 and negative 1. And then I'm going to use my slope, rise 1 and then 2 and back 1 to get a next point. And that's x is equal to negative 1 and y is equal to positive 1. And then one more time from the center, down 1, 2, and to the right 1. I label that with its ordered pair. x is equal to 1 and y is equal to negative uh, 3. And that is our three ordered pairs. Now, the inequality is a strict inequality. And so I'm going to have a dotted boundary line here. Anything on that line is not included in my solution set. It's an open open holes, right? They fall through this thing. And now, once I have that, then I see the two regions. I have the region below the line over here, and I have the region above the line over here. So below the line, I'm going to choose point, any point, and I'm going to choose um, 0 and negative 3, something on the y-axis and below this line. So negative 0, negative 3 right here is below this line. I could have chosen 0, negative 2, or I could have chosen anything over here. It doesn't matter. And I'm going to put it into the original equation, not the one that has been solved for y, just in case I made some mistake and I would be able to catch that potentially. It's not a guarantee, but I could potentially catch a mistake. So x is equal to 0, so I'll put 0 in there, and y is equal to negative 3. And so this says negative 3 is less than negative 1. Well, that's a true statement. Now, I'm not just going to jump to the conclusion that that's where I'm going to shade. I'm going to go and do my other checkpoint as well. Because if I happen to come out with two trues, I know that I did something incorrect. The checkpoint I'm going to choose above the boundary line is the origin because it's there. And remember, that's always a good one to check. So 2 times 0 plus 0. And I want to know is that less than a negative 1. And of course, this says 0 is less than negative 1. And of course, that's a false statement. And therefore, I'm going to go back to this one that's true, and I'm going to shade it as a result. So below the line, I'm shading. And that's why I put the um, indication of where I'm checking so that I remember where to shade. And I don't have to go back, and I ha don't have to look and see where exactly I'm shading. I just read it and I say, oh, below. And so there it is. And then on this line, I usually put my inequality um, just because it's an easy one or easy place to find it. And so there we go. Now that's the solution. Now you guys do this one on your own and then come back and check it. Okay, so first of all, we solve 3x minus 4y uh, less than or equal to 12 for y. So we go across here, and when we come to the getting rid of the numeric coefficient of y, notice we have to multiply by a negative 1 fourth, or divide by a negative 4. When you do that, remember the inequality must reverse, so our inequality uh, now looks like y is greater than or equal to 3 quarters minus 3. And so now what I have done is I've graphed this line. Here's my y-intercept. Rise of 1, 2, 3, run of 1, 2, 3, 4, or rise of negative 1, 2, uh, 1, 2, 3, and rise of, uh, run of negative 4. And then I chose a point above the line and one below the line, and I've checked those checkpoints here. And you see that the one above the line is a true statement, the one below the line is a false statement. And because the one above the line is the true shit statement, I will shade that region above. So we'll go back to the line and I'm going to shade the region above, which means that points in this region are going to be my solutions, and I'll label that with the equation there. So we have 3x minus 4y is less than or equal to 12, and I would normally put that right on the line, but there's no room, and so that was the second one.